If you've watched videos on how to fix lag and you've done everything in the video but you're still lagging, it might just be that your C drive is full. In this video, I've gathered the top ways to clear up space on your C drive that will significantly reduce lag. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up Run. To do that, just hit Windows plus R. Over here, you want to type in Prefetch. Everything I'm going to type here for the next couple of minutes will be in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it in. Anyways, click OK and it should open up this folder. Now here you want to clear all the temporary files that have been taking up space in your drive. You don't need this, so it's safe to delete them. Don't worry, your PC won't break, so just click on it, press Ctrl plus A to select everything, then click on Delete. You might get a pop-up, all you need to do is click this for all current items and hit Skip. The folder would now be empty. Next, we want to open up Run again, this time type in Temp. Again, you want to select every single file in here. Click on delete, check, do this for all current items, and click continue. Some of the files might not be able to be deleted because maybe your apps are using them, so just delete them another time when you don't have any of the apps open. Now, coming back to run, you want to add a percentage sign before and after the word temp, and click OK again. Again, select every file in here, right-click and delete. As you can see, I've just deleted a lot of built-up files. Now that we're done with deleting our cache, head over to File Explorer and go to this PC. Then click on the C drive. For some users, you'll find the Windows.old folder. What this is is basically a backup folder that Windows creates when you upgrade to a better Windows system. For example, upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. What this is used for is when you want to revert back to an older system. So, unless you're certain that you're not going to downgrade, you might want to just delete this. Click continue. And there you go, just like that we've deleted over 45 gigabytes worth of files just by deleting this one folder. The next thing you want to do is right click on your C drive and click on properties, then click on tools, and you want to click on optimize. Over here make sure you've selected the Windows C drive, and then click on the optimize button. It's also recommended to turn on scheduled optimization, so just come down here and click on turn on. Check this box and set it to weekly, then click OK. Now, for the next step, you're going to open up Run again, and over here, you're going to type in percentage app data percentage. In the app data folder, you want to find the local folder. Click on it, and you want to scroll down until you find NVIDIA. Go into the NVIDIA folder, you want to double click on GL Cache and delete whatever is in here. Now, once you've deleted all the cache from the NVIDIA Shader Cache folder, your game will stutter a bit for the first 10 to 20 minutes because it's downloading and compiling all the shader files needed to run the game smoothly. But it'll run smoothly after that, so just keep that in mind. Now we're going to search up Disk Cleanup. Once you see this, select the C drive and then click on OK. Now once you're in here, you want to check everything that you'd want to delete, including your recycle bin. As you can see, there's so much space to clear out in here. Then you want to click OK and click Delete Files. Now you'd have to wait for this to clean up and finish. For the next step, you want to open up Windows Settings and click on Apps. Over here, you want to sort by size, and as you can see, it lists all of the apps that you've downloaded by size. So you can go look at the list of apps you have and consider deleting any unwanted or unused applications. Lastly, open Settings, go to Storage, and make sure Storage Sense is enabled. This cleans up your PC by deleting unnecessary files, which can free up storage. Low storage can cause your computer to run slowly and lead to game crashes. If this video has helped you out in any way, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check out some of my other videos on the channel. I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye for now, guys.